I'm Stephanie. And this week we're going to be exploring a few of our ingredients. That's right, and first up... Grapeseed oil. Is that your favorite? Well, I've got to say I root for the underdog, and this is no exception. How so? Well, grapeseed oil is kind of the black sheep of the oil family. <laughs> Wait, was that a sheep? Ignore it, it'll go away. It wasn't long ago that grapeseed oil was viewed as an emerging superfood. However, this was a bit of a blunder on the part of groups proclaiming early on that it was a positive source of omega fatty acids, generally considered to be a good thing. That's right, and from eggs to supplements, we see a lot of products enhanced with omega fatty acids. However, there are two types of omega fatty acids, and both of them are a natural part of our diet in moderation. However, most people these days are getting far too much of one. That would be omega-6? That's right, omega-6 is found in a large number of foods, from poultry to cashews. And walnuts to vegetable oil. While it is scary, omega-6 fatty acid has shown to a link as a catalyst to development of certain diseases. So it's bad for us? Not exactly. There is a second type of omega fatty acid that is found in foods such as fish, strawberry, milk, and broccoli. Among many others. This type is called omega-3 fatty acid. Okay, so omega-6 bad, omega-3 good? No. Unlike some stu substances, what it all comes down to for omega fatty acids is the ratio between omega-3 and omega-6. The ideal ratio is thought to be 4 to 1, omega-6 to omega-3. However, many diets nowadays are thought to be as high as 30 to 1, with the average being around 16.7 to 1, which means that most people lose out on the benefits of omega-3 because it is so severely out of balance with their omega-6. So the effectiveness of either depends on its balance to its counterpart. You want just enough omega-3 and just enough omega-6. But too much of one or too much of the other means neither one are benefiting you as they should. So how does this relate to grapeseed oil? Well, grapeseed oil was thought to be an amazing new superfood because of its high omega content. However, the omega fatty acid it contains is omega-6. Which we already get far too much of. Right, which meant that people adding grapeseed oil to their diet was doing far more damage than good. So grapeseed oil is the supervillain of superfoods? Yeah, I guess so for most people, yeah. Okay, so should we throw away the rest of our supply? No, no, no. Grapeseed oil still has many benefits to offer us as long as we don't make it a part of our diet. Which is one of many reasons we don't recommend eating our products. <laughs> no matter how good they smell. Grapeseed oil is believed to offer a huge array of benefits for human skin, including reducing age spots, acne, wrinkles, stretch marks, dermatitis, eczema, and soothing sunburn. And because it's all natural, it is easily absorbed by the skin. And it has a positive impact on waste as well. Grapeseed oil is extracted from grape seeds that would ordinarily go to waste during wine production. Unfortunately, it wasn't until the last 100 years that extraction was made feasible on a large scale, meaning grapeseed oil is definitely one of the newer oils to be harnessed for its benefits. That's right, and speaking of harnessed, should we let these people go? Nice one! Yeah, we should. So make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and drop by our Etsy page for a full line of products, plus our first ever product geared specifically towards men. Our Cinnamon Fur is only available until June 20th, so get your order in now. And until next time, say, say no, no to common, common sense. sense. Bye. See you later. <laughs>